Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salara Home. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use Lookup Wizard Data Drive and Combo Box in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic: how to use Lookup Wizard Data Drive and Combo Box in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start, go to All Program, and go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010 as the first option. Just click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. The entire view is called as Backstage View. By default, new and blank database options are selected. All the work you did will be stored in a default location documents. I wish to change the location. How to change the location? You can able to see an icon called as Browse icon. Click the browse icon. Whenever click the browse icon, file new database dialog box will be generated where you can able to navigate to different places in your computer. So now I'm going to navigate to desktop where I'm going to create a new folder. Let us say Microsoft Access Exam. And click open in order to create in order to open the folder and provide a name to the database. Let us say student db database and click OK. Now we have changed the location. Now how to create the database? Here's the icon create. You just click the create icon in order to create the database with the default table table one. Whenever you create a database by default, the access will create a table called as table one. Either you can navigate to create tab where you can able to find a table in order to create a new table, or else you can able to reuse it table. Okay, so go to home and go to view and switch to design view. Whenever you switch to design view for first time, it will ask for the table name. Provide the table name as you like. Let us say student std. Now, by default, the first row will be assigned with the primary key, and the field name will be ID, and data type will be auto number. You can able to change it. Now, I'm going to change this as let us say student ID. It's going to be number. Let us say it's a student ID. And next comes student name. So name is going to be text, yes. So go to data type and select text and description is student name. And now specialization. Okay. In case of specialization, we'll be having different types of specialization like electrical, electronics, coastal fishing captains, painters, and so on. So I need to enter multiple values for specialization. How to do this? So in case of data type, you can use the lookup wizard in order to save or store multiple values. So click on lookup wizard in order to save multiple values. When you click on lookup wizard, the lookup wizard will be generated where there are two options. I want to look up fields to get the values from another table. If you want to use or get the value from another table, you can use the first option. If you want to type the values, you can able to use the second option. So I can use the second option. Click next. So type the values. Let us say electronics. Let us say electrical. Let us say CFC coastal fishing caption. Let us say painters. 
and click next and finish and now this is uh, going to be student specialization and next comes level so there are different level in post let us say level 1 level 2 level 3 so I need to enter multiple values how again go to data type and use lookup wizard and use the second option click next so what are the levels first one is in level 1 and second one is level 2 level 2 and third one is level 3 and click next and finish now next is going to be address let us say address is text and it's going to be student address it's going to be student uh, level and next is mobile number let us say mobile number it's going to be number so student mobile number now I need to save this information just click save in order to save it now close double click the table in order to switch to Excel view or this view is called as a data sheet view so where I need to enter the student ID and enter the student name let us see specialization see in case of specialization when you click on specialization it will generate a drop down where you can able to choose the values like electric electrical electronics coastal fishing captain or painters as you like you choose the value and regarding level again a pop-up will be generated or a drop down will be generated where you can able to choose the values and type the address let us say salala let us say mobile number and enter the second value as you like and choose the value for specialization and let us say level choose the value let us say musket and let us say id is 3 choose the value as you like level 3 okay okay now after entering the values save the values okay now close it now I need to create a form for this how to create a forms so ensure that before creating the form ensure that the table has been selected so now the table has been selected and go to create either you can use the form wizard or form option directly so now I'm going to use the form you just click on form in order to create a form so now the form has been created now go to view and go to design view if wish to change the fields or the design now this is a design view where I'm going to type the heading as fisherman training institute let us say Salala now I'm going to reduce the size of this select and reduce now I'm going to increase the size of this so just select the fields using control and click and go to home I'm going to make this bold and I'm going to change the font name to book antiqua and font size to 12 so just increase increase it now just select this so how to select you can use control and click you can and hold the control click 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 and click and go to home and change the font as you like and size and 
save this information so i'm going to save this form as let us say student details and click ok now switch to form view where you can able to see the drop down see this is student id student name specialization where you can able to see the drop down or combo box this is called as a combo box okay so see so this is how you can use the combo box as well as look up data type in microsoft access 2010 i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you